Especially for some of those first years of coach against the 316. Um, it's a lot of guys on the team that's from New York, so we wanted to make it uh, possible to get to the, uh, go to New York, Madison Square Garden. And for me, I mean, I, I never made it to the 316. I always got knocked out second round, so it was, it was real big for everybody. How cool would that be playing in a giant NBA arena like that? Uh, it's cool. I mean, I played there once um, when I was at Florida, played West Virginia, so. I just wanted to try to do everything I can to get the experience for everybody else on my team. Just tell them how fun Mark's management really is, and we just really have a fun right here. When they went on their run to open the second half, what was kind of the key to keeping calm, kind of regathering yourselves, and kind of getting things back? Um, I mean, we just had careless turnovers. Uh, I had one to start off. Um, just the spacing. I mean, we we knew we didn't turn the ball over. We could make a run, and I mean, we had probably the first three turnovers, and after that, we just controlled the ball. So. We just try to limit ourselves and turn the ball over and just stay together. I mean, we never, and we tell everybody to shoot when they open, and just attack the rack and just play with confidence, and that's what we did. Other than Oscar Sheboy, what did Kentucky do to, to challenge you guys? Um, I mean, they did a great job of forcing us to drive, um, closing out for three. Uh, Topping did a good job of closing out on my shots. Um, just. I mean, they did, uh, collectively, they did a great job. Carson and Wallace did an unbelievable job. We went 9 for 11, so I mean, they had the right piece. I feel like my guys just fought harder, and we wanted it more, so I thought we came out with it. Some of the guys are saying it's nice to prove to everyone that you're not underdogs. Does that mean anything to you? Yeah, I mean, it definitely is. Uh, I still want to be the underdog, just people still counting us out. Um, they probably thought this game was fluke, so we just got to keep proving everybody differently and just um, stay together with me. We were one big family without everybody who wouldn't be here, so. Just me, I don't know. What were your emotions like there at the end? Um, it was, I mean, wonder crap by then at the same time. It was just everything I've been through, just everything I dreamed, I said, give it to Sweet 16, and it's finally happened. So it was just, just seeing everybody work, everybody just loving each other. I mean, it's really hard to explain, so it's a good feeling. Uh, the, the, the shot uh, that you made, no, what, what, you, you guys uh, only made, I think, other than Keith, like two. Like one three yeah. prior to that. Uh, so what made you in that moment believe that was the shot? Um, I mean, I had a lot of open looks. You just didn't shoot with confidence. Um, I was shooting flat on my shots, and I knew what I was missing. It wasn't like I was just just off balance. And I just kept shooting flat, and that one. I mean, the coaches told me it's gonna fall, it's gonna fall. And in that moment, I mean, they ran an ISO play from the right wing, and I just trusted my work. Um, I've been in the gym, getting up a lot of shots, so it showed today that. Did it seem like Jacob was giving you a little room to avoid the foul? I mean, he had foul room. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he definitely was. He was playing um, off me a little bit, and I didn't want to settle for jump shots, but the guys want me to shoot, so I was just trying to get to the rack, just trying to attack, 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 and then Keith got on me right before, right before I shot his like, then shoot the ball because I think I went on the corner. I tried to do the reverse and left, and I missed, and he wanted me to shoot it. So then the next play, I got it. Um, that's when I ended up shooting it, and we just it was history from there. After everything you've been through, what does it feel like to be in the Sweet Sixteen? Um, it's unbelievable. Just like I was telling them, I never uh, made it past the second round. Uh, I lost to Michigan my freshman year. Sophomore year got canceled, and then the year I collapsed. Uh, my team lost to Oral Roberts in the second round. So my goal was just always trying to get past, the, just get past the second round, make it to the Sweet 16, and we're going to make a run from there. So just, just a blessing, just happy. Um, really hard to explain. Congratulations. Good I appreciate you. Thanks. Thank you. I almost feel not to say that, but do you, when the game is just physical, as this one is, does that, does that kind of get you going? Like, like, uh, yeah, I mean, Right, yeah, yeah, I like. I mean, physical game because it allowed me to attack the rack, try to get draw on um, five seven balls. Minutes, um, minutes. We got a lot of guys that's real physical on our team, and I mean, we just we play physical and smart, so we knew when to foul, when not to foul. Um, we knew what it took to get this dub, and we did it today. You've been asked so many times about the ball. Yeah. How, how special it was Marcus? Very special. I mean, you one of a kind. You would not find many 5'8", 5'7", guards I mean, like him to show up in big games like this. I mean, Kentucky is a great team. They did a great job today. And Keys just showed why it's really hard over height. You know, he played. Played his ass off really nice. So. He's been under the radar for so long. Yeah. I mean, you can even see on Twitter, everybody's talking about him. Just, I mean, you guys were the only game for long. Yeah. During, during your, your slot. So, I mean, for everyone to be talking about how, how cool is that, that people are starting to recognize how special um, he is. I mean, for me, it's, it's a blessing for him to get the recognition that he wanted. Um, he been in the gym. He probably the hardest worker on the team. Uh, he always in the gym. You go in there at midnight, early in the day, you'll see him. So for him to show his work constantly over and over and just keep proving his daughter's wrong and 
proved to himself that why he's one of the best guards is really a blessing to be. It's a blessing to play with him, really. So, it was just, thank you. Uh,